Hey everyone, I'm Todd with internalarchitect.com and I want to talk about uh, being aware of the decisions that we make. Um, this is kind of, I, I touched about this in a previous video and I want to I want to revisit this because this is a pretty important growth aspect to understanding what it is that it takes to have some self-discipline and and in helping helping you understand um, the feelings of isolation and just the feelings of of one going through cancer and two becoming a survivor in cancer also and what it is that you do after after cancer and being aware of the decisions you make help bring you closer to finding peace in your life um, you know we we make thousands of subconscious decisions every single day whether it is you know deciding to get up to use the bathroom in the morning or um, making coffee in the morning or what kind of breakfast you're going to eat to you know are you going to make the decision to buy a house or whatever it is yeah you know, i mean that obviously that's not as much of a subconscious one that's a pretty big decision but nonetheless it's still a decision that you might come across in your in in your day right and the point is is learning to learning learning that the decisions that you make do have you know consequences or can potentially have a positive or hugely positive outlook and or outcome due to how it is that you you perceive it right um i found that it is incredibly important to understand what those decisions mean and how the decisions can affect your life moving forward and into finding peace like um so how do you do this right how do you learn to become aware of the decisions that you make now you probably will not be aware of every single decision that you make in your life right but to start understanding or to start learning when you have a decision that needs to be made what that means right whether that is you know getting up from your job uh, to you know to talk to your boss or you know whether you're gonna stop working and go do something you know at the end of the day to go go exercise or are you going to go meet your friends for a drink at the bar whatever it is the decision to do whatever it is that you're going to do can either help benefit you or hinder you in what it is that you want to accomplish at the end of the day um, it's taken a lot of time for me to to become aware of what those decisions are and how they affect my life and trying to find that balance in life is a difficult if not one of the most difficult things to do but once you start understanding the consequences and becoming more aware then you can start to kind of break it down a little bit more right and over time you start to build some repetition in the in what the context of the decisions that you make offer so as you learn more and more and more about yourself and you become more and more aware of the decisions that you make it will help you it'll help steer you in the right path of what it is that you want to accomplish now whether that's you want to become the the best real estate marketing person in your area or uh, you want to you know help more people at the hospital or whatever it is you know it's learning to become more aware of your decisions and 
it is possible. Uh, it is this is something that I continuously work on daily, <laughs> and I'm guilty of still making not the best decisions at times. But you know what? I I would say a good majority of the ones I do are much more beneficial to what it is I want to accomplish than than not. So um, remember, you know, start learning to become aware of what the decisions you make are. And once you do that, you know, you'll slowly become, it'll become more repetitious and you'll, it'll become easier as you do it more and more. Um, sorry, a little wild one, but, uh, you know, if you have any comments or questions, hit me in the, in the comments below. Um, and I'll answer them as, as quick as I can. And I will see you in the next video.